guys and welcome back to another delicious episode of Shelly's Homemade and today we're going to be frying some colored so I have some boneless skinless colored fish here um, what we're going to do we're going to make a batter for the colored and then we're going to flour it and get it into our deep fry our deep fry is getting hot as we speak so what we're going to do is make the batter so I have some garlic um, garlic pepper. Add that to that. We have some onion powder. Let's add that. We have some lemon pepper. That. We have some garlic powder. We add some hot sauce. Add a couple dashes, maybe a tablespoon. We add some yellow mustard. A tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of that. I can never get it open. Splash of milk. So, so. this together just like so just a good whisk then we're gonna add our fish just like so into right into that batter and get all Six pieces right inside the pan. All right, I'm gonna flip it over just to make sure everything gets coated. All right, then we're gonna set this to the side. Then we're gonna make our flour. All right, so we have two cups of flour. So we're gonna cut a couple of tablespoons of cornstarch. Big handful of some salt. Some cha cha powder. And you put as much oil as you like. Paprika. Just for color. Garlic pepper. Lemon pepper. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Get in here with my hands and we're gonna mix this up. And you wanna see the seasoning in your flour because if you don't see the seasoning, 
it's not seasoned enough. We need to go back and start again. Or we'll add some more seasoning. Alright. Look at that. You can see the seasoning in there. That is beautiful. Alright. Now, what we're going to do next is flour up our um, colored fish and let it sit because you want it to sit up so then all the flour will adhere and then that way you get a better crispier texture to your chicken I mean to your fish. Right. fish here and we're gonna put it into the flour take my flour hand flour it up Make sure all of it is coated nice and good. And then shake off the excess. I like to pat it on. The way I know I got it. I like to just shake off the excess. Put it onto my plate. Do it again. Just keep repeating the process until all of it is done. You get all of it coated. I'm gonna see a little bowl spot. Get in there. Trust me, we don't want no bowl spots going on in here. cover up all those little areas that be trying to escape you. Get in there. Don't be afraid. Get in there on your fish and just touch on it. Love on it. Ball spot, just cover it up. Got one more fish. Get in there, press it down, cover it over. Look at that. That is beautiful. Take the excess off, lay it out, boom. So I'm going to clean this mess up, wash my hands, and be right back. Okay. Put all the fish in the basket. I'm going to do a couple at a time. Right down in here. And we're gonna let it deep fry. And we come back. I'm gonna show you what it's looking like. Alright, we're pulling this fish out. Look at that fish. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. Alright, we're gonna get cut and put this on and be right back. Ooh, it's delicate. That'll fit fish.
Alright, so you gotta be careful. And sometimes these things are gonna stick. You're gonna pull it off. But be careful. Delicious fried collie. I'm telling you, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna find a nice piece. Break all. But you know what? I'm just gonna eat this one. Mm. Put it in season. All the way through. Nice and crispy. Mmm. Oh, they're delicious. Nice white flaky fish. It's hot. I'm trying. But it's hot. Right at this part. So y'all can see the nice fleeks in the fish. Oh, this is delicious. Alright guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and give this recipe a try. Alright guys. See y'all guys in the next video.